friends, so today I'm going to show you how I made Morgan's outfit. I'm not wearing the wig or I don't have the makeup on right now or anything. Yeah, I'm just going to walk through how exactly I made each piece and it'll be fun and exciting and I had a lot of fun making this. It was really easy and fairly cheap as well. Um, I have bubbles everywhere. So yeah, let's just go ahead and hop into the tutorial. The first thing that I did was take a bikini that I had and then I draped it in this white stretch fabric and then I sewed it on. I used these little sewing clips instead of pins because the foam was pretty thick and less stabbies. So you don't have to do this but I airbrushed my bikini top just to give it a little extra detail. I did a light gray around the edges just to kind of highlight the middle boob area. Next I had some wax string that I used to create the beaded accents in the middle of her bikini. I then placed some beads onto it that I had in my collection and I hot glued the strings on. Will they fall off? Probably but it's okay. The middle string was braided to make it heavy enough to sit against my chest instead of flapping up and it's got a little weight at the bottom to keep it down. So this is just the original uh, cowl that I made, but it's not the official one. So I took a hood that I had off of a hoodie and I pinned it to the fabric that I'm using and then I cut it out. This is just to get the shape of the hood. And then I sew it together. I make sure to unpin where my head will go and at the bottom, which is gonna get connected to the cowl itself. What I did to make the cowl was I took my fabric and I just draped it over my shoulders. I'll show at the end what exactly that looks like. <laughs> um, I think I'm losing my voice by the way. I don't know. I can't really tell. For the belts and everything, I just cut out a bunch of rectangles and I just pin everything together. I use the clips that way I don't have any pin marks or anything like that. I didn't end up making the skirt. I just make the little pouchy thing and I attach the belts to it. I don't really like the skirt don't at me I just I don't know just I didn't want to make it <laughs> so this pleather is actually like upholstery fabric but it was really cheap and it worked for what I was doing anyway and to cover up the white backing uh, I just airbrushed it black little bean is making sure I don't stab myself so basically I'm just sewing a nice edging for everything just to make it kind of look nice but this is one of the belts Next, I take some faux fur that I had in one of my fabric bins and I trace around the pouch thing that I made and then I measure how much I'll need to cut out and I roll it and pin it to the pouch. I clip it, like I very carefully clip it and I pin it just to make sure it doesn't move around when I go to sew it. And then I also cut it out with a sharp blade instead of scissors just to make sure the fur doesn't get all choppy and gross. And then I just sew it down. I totally could have turned this into like a pouch to actually keep my phone and like business cards in but I didn't realize it at the time. I then take two embroidery threads, put them together, and I just create little uh, accent stitching. This does nothing, it's just accent. And then I pin the belts and make sure that they are all pointing down and not flapping around everywhere. And yeah, and I make a bunch of little eyelets. These are just completely random. <laughs> and then I just sew the belts on. So for the little straps on the arms, I just made these little leather band things that I made the exact same way that I made the belts for Morgan's skirt. They have some velcro that they just velcro together and then that will go on my arm. I also made some little buckles that will go on here out of foam. So the buckles are 4mm foam that I just cut out and then I also dry brushed them with a metallic silver. And that's, that's them. Uh, the little things in the middle are just some wire that I had and that's how I created some fake buckles. Next I make the pauldron, same as all my armor builds. I pattern it on my body, divide it down the middle, and draw it on. I just use some tin foil and some painter's tape as that's all I had at the time. And don't forget your registration marks, those are very important for putting the piece back together. And then I just slapped it onto some 4mm foam, traced it, remembering to put in the registration marks because that's important and then I cut it out and then I ate it. Mm. So after gluing it all together, I heated up the foam and then I took a crumpled piece of aluminum foil and I just kind of stabbed it and I stabbed the foam with it. This is because I wanted a leather look. Um, leather has like little dimples and imperfections, so I just wanted to kind of recreate that. 
with this. It turned out okay. Oh, Taylor, I can totally see what you're doing. Good job. I probably shouldn't use my 50 millimeter, <laughs> but I just love it so much. Next, I quick seal. I want to make sure I seal all of those seams and stuff. You can blend this out a little more by taking some water with your finger, just blend it and stuff. Then after painting it brown, I use like a, a little bit of a dark brown mixed with some white to give it a light brown. Anyway, so I then darken up the edges a little bit with a darker brown and I'm using my airbrush to do this. Next, I took some light brown and kind of scuffed up the edges and the middle of it a little bit just to give it a little more highlighting. Then I took these feathers that I had and I did an ombre effect of gold to green to a blue. This is how her feathers are in the game and she has four of them on her pauldron so I just recreated that with uh, with my airbrush. Using an airbrush disperses a little bit of paint onto the feather without weighing it down and making it crispy and I do trim some of those ugly flyaway edges. So I just glued the feathers down to this little gold button that I had and for the pauldron to attach it, I have a piece of elastic that I glued down and my arm will go through that and it'll sit on my shoulder. For her pearl necklace, I strung some really pretty pearls that I found at Joann's onto a thicker string. For her gold necklace, I cut out a big U from 4mm foam and then I cut out a bunch of these little rectangles that'll just sit on top. I think I did make them a little tad bit too thick, but it's okay. They, it turned out okay. I'm fine with it. So then I just glue them right on top. Next I resin cast a bunch of little spikes. I made two big spikes and two small spikes that'll go onto the necklace. I mixed a little white eyeshadow into the resin before pouring to give it a little bit of color. Next I used some warbler for the middle piece of the necklace and I used some clay tools to shape it and give it the details that it needed. I also had a button from a huge thing of buttons that my grandma gave me that was perfect for the middle of this necklace. And then I test all my little things to make sure everything fits and stuff and it looks okay and it looked okay, oh my goodness. So I give everything a nice coating of gold. This is just some gold metallic paint that I had. And then I also airbrush the top of it a metallic brown. And then now I'm just dirtying up the middle of the raised pieces. And then next I kind of finish up my accessories. So I take that same gold and I brush it over this bracelet that I had. And I do this a bunch of times because it takes forever to cover it up. So here my original idea was to attach the pauldron to her necklace, but that didn't work out. So to get everything on, I have these cool pants that I got. They are some old pants that I thrifted years ago. They're like leggings, but thicker, and they have pleather on the sides. <laughs> For her boots, I just have some black strappy uh, flat boots. And then the bikini goes on top. I have it crossing in the front as that's actually how she wears it in the game. And it further pushes up what little boobs that I actually have. All right, and then the arm sleeves go on, which are just tubes that I sewed. And then the pauldron goes on and the pauldron is connected with a clear strap and the elastic. And later I do end up attaching Velcro to the pauldron and the arm sleeve and that keeps the arm sleeve up. And then the pouch of belts goes on and that just attaches like a belt. And then all of the arm straps go on, which are attached with Velcro. And then the gold necklace goes on, which is attached with a chain and a lobster claw. And then here I'm showing you how I actually made the cowl. I overcomplicated it. All I really did was I folded up my fabric and had it sit on my shoulders and then I pinned the hood and the back to it and then I just sewed it. <laughs> That's it. I was being really overcomplicated with it. So then the cowl goes on and covers up everything else. And then I got that little glove from Amazon but I just airbrushed it. There's nothing really special about it, it's just a glove that I had. <laughs> and then all the little bracelets go on, and that's the wig. I don't feel like putting it on, but it's an Arda wig. It's the Indigo Classic in deep brown. And I just pinned it back with a clip, and I trimmed the bangs a little bit. And that's everything. Wow! The tutorial for the staff is coming out next week, unless I completely lose my voice 
and that that would be really bad. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful or entertaining. I do have written tutorials and other behind the scenes stuff available on my Patreon. Thank you so much to my patrons Adam Hunt, L.E.R., Anime Crush, Anon, Blue Panda, Calvin Lewis, David Rosebaum, Eric, Jennifer Croy, Jim W., Kalika Kaiser, Logan Don Carlos, Malus Meriden, Masume, Mer Kitten, Michael, Nathan M., Neem Crane, Nanaman, Robert Gallardo, Rusty Shackelford, Sakura, Veldemir, and Yandere Jean Girl. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have an awesome creative day, and I will see you guys next week. Oh, also, I'll be at Anime St. Louis this weekend. Um, as of this video releasing on Friday, I'm already there. So uh, I hope to see some of you there. So yeah, um, hearts, hearts, hearts. Bye guys.